An abandoned school dormitory in northern Cameroon. Scattered belongings everywhere, showing the children, mainly boys, were forced to leave in a hurry. The abduction of 79 youngsters, along with their principal and a driver, happened before dawn as gunmen forced their way into the building. Into the glasses are still there on the ground. Then in the dormitories, without fright, some of the students started packing their belongings. And in the boys' dormitory, two doors were actually broken. It's the worst incident so far in 13 months of unrest. The kidnappings coincide with an upsurge of political tensions in the majority French-speaking country. The youngsters were enrolled at a school in Barmenda, in one of two regions hit by attacks by Anglophone militants who've been met with a brutal crackdown by the authorities. The regional governor, who visited the school and classmates of those taken by the kidnappers, has laid the blame squarely at the feet of the separatist militias. There are raping, killing, looting, abducting, but they are going to face a strong, powerful reaction by the powers that be. The incident comes as President Paul Beer, who's ruled the country for 35 years with an iron fist, is due to be sworn in for a seventh term. Resentment between French and English-speaking communities dates back to colonial times. Demands for greater autonomy by minority Anglophones has been constantly rebuffed by Beer. Evelyn Laverick, Euronews.